So I, I really hadn't planned on getting a cage for the Sony ZV-1, as I thought it sort of defeats the purpose of a compact camera, but, but then I saw this. Well, first, I will be doing a giveaway for this cage with the side handle, and I'll tell you how to enter it at the end. But okay, we, we all know that Small Rig makes great cages and accessories, but they are not the only ones for the Sony ZV-1. And in my opinion, there may be a better system out there, not just for cages, but for handles, fluid heads, straps, tripods, quick release plates, and so much more. And this system is from Falcam. So recently I picked up this cage, Falcam's quick release cage, which comes in both a dark gray called the Monet gray, or this really cool light silver called Silk Silver, which I think is meant to pair with a white CV-1. And if you notice, this cage says F22, F38, and F50 next to it, which refers to the main feature, but I'll also get to that. So like I said, initially I wasn't going to add a cage to my ZV-1 because the whole point of a lightweight compact camera is to keep it lightweight and compact, right? However, I also did this with my A7C because sometimes I want the option to rig it up and I want to attach a monitor to it or I just want a side handle for steadier shooting. Then, then I can do that. But with this system, I am not married to any of it because it's all quick release. So I can rig it up or I can swap it to a gimbal or a tripod or now these are gonna be giving Peak Design a run for the money. I can strap it around my neck while you also have the added protection of a cage or with just a few turns of the screw, remove the whole cage and keep the neck strap on or just pop that off too and go super minimal and bam, I have both a compact camera and a professional looking setup. See, currently I have my FX3 rigged up to shoot for clients or do these talking head bits and the ZV-E1 is my quick pickup and shoot cam. But for many, the ZV-E1 is their main A cam as it's capable of doing all that the FX3 can with a big hot caveat. So adding weight and a rig gives it a lot more stability and functionality for how you can hold it with a top handle, side handle, or then go vertical, or again, quick release to a tripod, gimbal, or just go more steady handheld shots. So you can turn off active dynamic stabilization and drop the crop to get more stable footage just by making your camera heavier. Also, if the ZV-E1 is your main A camera and you wanna rig it up like my FX3, most would scoff at that idea because it could overheat, but Hulanzi also has got you there with this cooling fan, which you can pre-order now for 50% off. And I'll be doing a whole separate review on it soon. So with Falcam, again, they label their quick release system numerically by size. So F22, F38, and F50, which all correlate to the width of the release. So the top and side handles are F22s, the smallest, whereas this base plate for your gimbal or shoulder strap mount and for my tripod head is F38. Yet for a bigger rig, I'd recommend getting the F50 base plate, but brilliantly, if you see the bottom here, all three release widths are here, which gives you way more ways to mix, match, mount, and customize how you use this cage. So for that alone, it's an easy buy. And it's worth noting, but hard to express over video, the quality of these aluminum pieces as they're on a whole nother level to what I'm used to. They're not cheap or plasticky feeling while also not being any more expensive. And, and the handles here have this crazy composite material that just is really smooth to hold, but I, I guess you'll just have to trust me on that. Now, before I give you my complaints and just things to know before you buy, I want to mention these straps. So we all know Peak Design Clips. I, I have them and love them, but Falcom also has an answer to that. This is the Maglink Quick Magnetic Buckle Shoulder Strap Pro, which seriously clips in faster than I could say that twice. And they also have a slightly cheaper classic version, but these feel premium, and I think they look as good as they are comfortable. Like for that alone, I'd pick these over the Peak Design seatbelt looking straps. But it did take me some time to get familiar with the magnet mechanism as compared to the Peak Clips, but they are way faster to clip on. Yet, I'm still getting used to them and really the whole quick release system from Falcom, which is my only real complaint. So there's these three things really, and first, the friction is tight, so it takes some time getting used to smoothly getting it on and off. It's partially because they are so snugly fit, which feels secure, and partially because of the high quality material. But getting these quick release accessories on is ironically not always so quick, because reason two, I wish there were arrows indicating which direction they should go on and off. I may just be doing it wrong, but I always go the wrong direction first. So it would be cool if they incorporated a small arrow icon, which they actually do on some of the pieces. Whereas 
Others are multi-directional, meaning you can remove them from either side, while others are not, and, and I don't know why. It could generally be more self-explanatory, but again, once it's on, it's on, and I'd rather have that problem than they're too loose or come off too quickly. Now, three, and the thing that I wish they did that smaller cages are really good at is they make sure all these tools attach the cage themselves. So the Falcom cage does have a cool key, which looks like it should magnetically hide somewhere. And maybe again, maybe I'm missing it, but it doesn't seem to attach, which means I need to keep this key on me or a multi-tool. So there should be a way to attach their tools like their spanner to the handles or the key to the cage like Small Rig and others do. But I do love that this quick release ecosystem of accessories have other mounting points to be cross compatible with are relocating pins, quarter inch holes everywhere, and cold shoes. But most importantly, it extends to not just the ZV-1, as they make these great cages for almost all other camera brands, as well as they also make half cages. So consider looking into Falcam for cages and accessories if you want options for high quality but affordable products that aren't just from Small Rig. Now, how you enter to win this giveaway for this Monet Gray ZV-E1 cage and side handle is simple. First of all, of course, make sure you've liked this video and you're subscribed, and then comment below something like, hey, I like free stuff and I like putting things in cages. Well, yeah, maybe not that last part. And, and there is one stipulation that you have to live in the US as I will be covering the shipping. So I apologize to my international viewers. One day I'll try to find a cheap way to ship things overseas or across borders. And I will then reach out to the winner and find a way to DM or email you. And I will never WhatsApp you as I know some scammers try to do. So thank you all for your time and attention. Even if you don't want free stuff, please consider following along and subscribing as I have a bunch more videos about videos like this. So thanks again. All right, bye guys.